So welcome to this episode of Mansag Podcast. I'm your host and editor of the Mansag Newsletter. My name is Ijabla. Today I have Dr. Olainka Kowalberry with me. She is the organizer of the scientific part of the upcoming Mansag 2023 Annual and Scientific Conference. Uh, the conference holds in Croydon from October 27th to 28th uh, this year. Uh, Dr. Corberry will be talking to me about the conference and what attendees can expect. Uh, Dr. Corberry, welcome to this episode of the Mansag podcast. Thank you. Now, I'd like to start this by asking my uh, guests to introduce themselves. Uh, I hope you don't mind telling us a bit about yourself. No, absolutely. Thank you for that. Um, my name is Olai Inka Corberry, and I prefer to be called Olai Inka. If you must call me a shortened form, please call me Yinka with the Y behind it. <laughs> I am a post cystic neonatologist, and um, until recently, I was a substantive consultant neonatologist at an NHS Trust. I am currently a research fellow at University College Hospital London, alongside undertaking a PhD at the University College London. My research area is focused on predicting neonatal outcomes of prematurity, infections, and inflammation in pregnancy. I also work as a local neonatal consultant at tertiary neonatal units across NHS trusts in the UK. I'm a medical educator, a coach and a mentor with special interests in supporting international medical graduates. I'm a co-founder at SenseBlocks, which is a career consulting outfit where I focus on medical careers. I also serve as the lead tutor for pediatrics at the Centre for International Medical Graduates in the UK. This institution focuses on career integration and support of IMGs in the NHS. I have special interests in neonatal outcomes, neonatal hemodynamics, quality improvement initiatives, audits, service evaluations and medical education. And there I focus on the needs and peculiarities of international medical graduates. I am the organizer of the scientific part of the Mansac 2023 Annual Scientific Conference. And that's the focus of my interview with you today, Ijabla. Thank you. So, wow, Olayinka. So I've got to ask you a very personal question. I hope you don't mind that. So my Absolutely. question is, <laughs> do you have 24 hours in a day like the rest of us? Or, or is yours more, like, <laughs> is yours more like sort of 50 hours in a day? <laughs> if it, it, it reached to ask, Abby. If, if it... <laughs> Uh, in all honesty, I do ask myself that as well. <laughs> and, um, you know, yes, I do have 24 hours like everyone else. Um, and yes, I do struggle like everyone else. And I think really it's about um, the focus, what we want to achieve and why. I think those are the driving factors. And sometimes 24 hours can feel like 48. Sometimes 24 hours actually does feel like 12 or even eight. Yeah, but, you know, we go on. Okay, well, <laughs> that's reassuring to hear. Um, now, if you're listening and you're thinking, I want to be like um, Yinka when I grow up, then please join Mansag. <laughs> um, because, you know, we have many senior doctors, nurses, radiographers, and uh, managers who are willing to provide mentorship to our younger uh, colleagues. So yeah. I think, you know, we'll have to do a separate podcast on mentorship uh, on a different day. But um, what I want to do now is go on to the next um, question. So the theme for this year's conference is transforming health outcomes. Um, we have a lineup of powerful speakers. We have interactive sessions with leading policymakers, uh, clinicians, researchers, and healthcare managers. And um, you are actively involved in organizing the conference. So could you perhaps talk a little bit about the theme of the conference and tell us what attendees can expect to take home from this conference place. Thank you for that. Um, transforming health outcomes. I think that is a theme that cuts across environments. So whether that's the United Kingdom where we are at or Nigeria where we actually come from, the focus is the same. We've got to improve the health outcomes of different groups. Um, and in particular, we know that Africans, Nigerians, Black people, people of ethnic minorities tend to require a lot more support, especially in a country like this one. So mm. it is our responsibility as healthcare professionals to look at how 
we can transform the health outcomes for our people and for the United Kingdom as a whole. Yeah. So throughout the conference, we can look forward to a gathering of doctors, nurses, allied health professionals, medical students, students from other professionals, um, coming together to discuss topics of interest. We have, as you said, erudite speakers across many sessions on both days. And we have very experienced chairs that are anchoring the different pertinent areas um, of the conference. There are many contributors to success and impactful careers in healthcare. And um, some issues are peculiar to clinicians from black and ethnic minority backgrounds. We have gone ahead to create avenues throughout the conference to unveil a vast array of these issues and to discuss ways forward. Mm. The scientific part of the conference aims to showcase the excellent work that Nigerians are leading and taking active part in across the UK. We will be presenting Nigerian authors of rich scientific work across medical, nursing and allied medical specialties. We'll be creating an avenue for awareness of what we're doing, collaboration and inspiration within the Nigerian healthcare community. Historically, Blacks and ethnic minorities new to the NHS can struggle to find inspiration from professionals that look, think, and talk like us in our specialties, mm -hmm. because we sometimes spread thinly across the UK landscape. Yeah. But we know that there are lots of Nigerians doing extraordinary, cutting edge scientific work, and even many more doing brilliantly at mainstream clinical work, leading to many inspiring outputs. So we're hoping that this conference will produce very strong messages and action points to take forward, both for us as professionals and for the systems that we have ensured will be ably represented at the conference. So for instance, we have able representatives from the GMC, the Royal Colleges mm -hmm. and the policy makers. We aim for the outputs of the conference to make real transformation in health outcomes. So I personally recommend and invite all Nigerian clinicians and healthcare professionals practicing across the United Kingdom to attend this conference. Come and benefit from it, but also come and contribute to it. Come and collaborate um, within that space. And there are still tickets available at Eventbrite. And if you haven't got yours, what are you waiting for? Exactly. What are you waiting for? So my people, when I don't hear, oh, please grab your tickets. And um, so finally, because we, we do need to try and keep this short, nice, you know, sweet and, how do people say it? Is it short and sweet or sweet and short? But You're doing well. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> so for listeners who are not members of Mansag or those who might not know much about the um, organization, I'm wondering, you know, could you mention one or two key points about Mansag and why every Nigerian healthcare professional in the UK should uh, consider becoming a member, please? Absolutely, Jabla. Thank you for that. Um, Mansag is a multi-professional organization with very clear interests in the well-being, social integration, research and other academic advancement and professional de development of healthcare clinicians within the UK. So as a body, we engage all stakeholders at every level with appropriate levels of commitment. We meet pertinent needs, whether this is individual or institutional. MANSAG essentially is an association with a very holistic mission. So if you are a healthcare professional in the UK, you should join MANSAG, both to benefit from it and to contribute to the collective mission that it has. Thank you so much, Inka really appreciate the time you've given me and um, um like yourself i'm really excited about this um conference and uh, yeah yeah and you know let's spread the news please those of us who are listening uh, and do get your tickets and let your friend and your neighbors and you know trainees if you're if you've got one in your practice or in your department please get everybody to come out and um there will be at the bottom of this, there will be a link to event event bright so that people can can also register. So thank you very much, Inka. I really appreciate the time you've given me. And uh, thank you for having me. Yes. So I hope to see you in a few weeks at the conference. Absolutely. See you all in Croydon. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Cheers. Good evening. <laughs>